Hello, I'm Lindsay Foster with TTP TV, and we're here with fellow Annapolitan Terry Hutchinson, currently with Quantum Racing and Artemis Racing. Terry, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks. Well, Terry, it seems that your current career is skyrocketing just off the charts. And I want to talk with you a little bit about what got you to where you are, um, starting with the 32nd America's Cup, where you came in second in one of the closest match races that has probably ever been recorded. Yeah. And, uh, you know, after that, you were let go, and we wanted to see what you've learned from that experience and how it's gotten you to where you are today. About three weeks ago, we were back in Valencia doing RC44 sailing. Felt a little bit like we were returning to the scene of the crime. That was very close match. A one second defeat to Alinghi about four months after the event ended. I was inappropriately cut loose from Team New Zealand. There's the whole sporting side of the game that we play. And the other aspect that you learn through some of these situations is that there's another agenda that has absolutely nothing to do with the results on the water. Clearly, if you just went by what we did on the water and what's been happening on the water since, it looks like it's a pretty big blunder on their part. My inexperience there probably let me down a little bit because I just was going at face value and taking people for their word. And we, as sailors and the people that I sail with, you know, if we say we're going to do something, we do it. That experience takes a little while to get over, certainly because you know, I, I felt like I was blamed for Team New Zealand losing the America's Cup. You know, I'm incredibly proud of what we did because I think we maximized our equipment and got the best out of our boat. And, Inevitably, we were beat by a better team. Right. Well, it sounds like you've bounced back pretty well and are currently, it's, yeah, second <laughs> place with the Audi Med Cup yep. and tied for second with a few other boats with the RC44 Championship. Let's yes. talk a little bit about how you've refocused and where you're looking to go from here. Well, my hopes and dreams and goals are to get back to honing the skills and making myself better as a sailor and, and surrounding myself with a team. We've had a unique opportunity with the quantum racing. As you point out, we're in second place right now. I look at that and think we're one concussion short of being right back on the podium. At the first event of the, of the season, I got whacked in the head and spent two days in the hospital. Oh gosh. With, yeah, with a concussion. <laughs> the RC44, both teams are in second right now, and uh, second place is last place. So right. yeah, we have <laughs> both these teams are great opportunities to just make yourself better. Are you putting together a cup team with Paul KR currently? Uh, we're working on it. Oracle is going to create an event that probably is more geared towards television to sell to the general public. I mean, if you look at the technology of the 33rd Cup, it's incredible. That whole project, while it's quite a bit different to what we experienced in 2007, it was faced with the same problems. They had to develop the boat in isolation. They had to figure out how to get this thing from the start of its life to a point where they could race it with reliability. If it develops into a circuit that sailors can make a living out of it and become truly professionals within our sport, that's really, really good for sailing as a whole. Speaking of professional sailors, after sailing all these highly competitive events around the world, you still come back and do the yeah. Annapolis Yacht Club <laughs> Wednesday night races with the kids. Are, yep. you, are you training them to no. start a professional sailing career? Definitely not. I think on uh, last Wednesday night, Aiden fell asleep on the bow. My memories of sailing are growing up you know, here on the bay and going over to St. Michael's and stuff like that. So to do that with my kids is awesome. How do you handle being away from your family for such long periods of time? Um, yeah, you know, that's a, it's a, that's the problem with the job, I guess. But, you know, inevitably, I think for anybody who wants to be successful, you're going to have to work really, really hard and you're going to have to just take it on and sacrifices are made. When I go away, I make sure that, you know, the time away is not wasted so that when you come home, you don't have to dwell on the bad result. Right. Which sometimes you do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, it's the worst part of the job. Shelly always bangs on that it's it's quality over quantity. And so I try to make sure when I'm home, I'm home. And, you know, it is what it is to a certain extent. Great. Well, thank you so much thank for you. talking with us today, Terry. And right. good luck with, Thanks. you know, these second places, turning them yeah. into first. You've <laughs> got your work cut out for yes, you. we definitely do. We're definitely all pulling for Thanks. you. So. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you so much for watching T2P TV. I'm Lindsay Foster.